Welcome to the channel. We are out in the dog apartment. Today I'm going to begin running electrical and the plumbing. They have to be done. They might as well be done together because I got to pull back some of this uh, insulation. I'm going to probably put it one outlet there, maybe a four way. I also need to run a wire. Somewhere in here I got to determine where I'm going to put a light. I may just mount that light, a light right here on the, uh, on the wall. That would be the simplest way uh, because this ceiling's kind of goofy. And I need to run an outlet over here for the air conditioner and possibly, you know, something else. So anyway, I'm going to get get go find my outlets, get my wire, get everything ready, drill bits, whatnot. And we're going to start doing it, man. And uh, I believe I'm putting the washer and dryer on this wall here. I do want to build it on a raised platform for a few different reasons one it would be easier to get stuff out of the dryer for me and two uh, you know it, it, it's not going to set level on this crappy floor so i need a good level platform we're not going to get to that today today we're going to focus on electrical and if we get to the plumbing we get to the plumbing but we're definitely going to drill the holes for the plumbing and then i have to figure out how i'm going to get it to the other house. The electrical uh, service panel is just on the other side of this wall. And you know, there's that little breezeway in there. So I'm gonna have to run some PVC through. There is gonna be a ceiling up there. I haven't built that yet. Uh, I'll take you out there later and show you. And, but we can get the wire run, no problem. Here we go. All right, I've been trying to gather up everything that I need. Got a, well, I had two of these. I know I got two of these double game boxes uh, I can only find two outlets I know there's 50 of them around here but I did get a light switch the light deal there I've got my wire found a bunch of 14 2 got a little bit of 12 2 that I'll use for the light switch so I'm ready to mount these uh, boxes let me figure out where I'm gonna put this light get those home then I'll know where to start doing my drilling and getting the wire run all right so the washer dryer together will come out to right here now when I mount my outlet a little higher than the washer which is 44 inches and I got to keep in mind I'm gonna probably do a six inch six inch pedestal so about right in here, I'll probably want the top of the outlet. Leave it out a little bit for the wall board, which isn't very thick. But I'm thinking right there will be the first outlet. All right, right at the top of that staple. Let me go get the hammer. Well, though, are you gonna? Uh, I figured as soon as you see me grab a hammer, you leave because you, that means you got to work. All right, let's bring that out. This stuff's quarter inch thick. That's about it, right? That would have helped to punch the hole out and get the wire back there first. We'll get the wire right there. I can get that through. Man, them some hard 2 by 4s I ain't kidding you. Yeah. 
out of the back gum way. What on earth is that hit? That's just some tough two by fours, man. Them things are tough. Not the best angle. <laughs> Left handed ain't the best. Man, that's awful. I ain't kidding you, I can't get them out. I can't get them through this wood. Wow. Toughest damn two by fours I've ever seen. Yeah, that's good enough once it's in there. All right, so we're gonna probably drill underneath two, three. I gotta figure out where I'm coming in exactly, and then we can determine where to start it. the light right above the door here ain't no big deal some light in there get it centered and get y'all over here All right, I think that's a good place for a light. Let's see, do I want it? I think I want it up the other way. On the top. Right in there. I don't even know if I can swing a hammer that way. Just take them nails out and use screws, it'd be a lot easier. I think that's what I'm gonna have, yeah, but I can't get a screw gun in there either. I'm gonna do them a little at a time. Wood is so hard. I was worried this door opening and closing it would vibrate this a lot. Man, this thing shuts so smooth. I slammed it a few times, it doesn't even hardly move. All right, I'm almost there. Come on, just a little more, man. I cannot, cannot find a light switch outlet. I know I got one. I know. But, uh, man, I gotta, I gotta stop this getting disorganized stuff, man. I gotta get that, build a lean-to somewhere and get that lawnmower and the big things out of the shed and make that organized because I can't find them. So much hardware laying around in bags and stuff, but I can't find them. I don't know where they're at. I looked everywhere. I got most of the stuff I need for this job. All right. All right. 
So I'm gonna be feeding my electrical wire bleed through right up here. I'm just gonna go completely across to the other room in a piece of PVC. So we're gonna probably want to come it down right here and we can continue on that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole as close to this as I can get it. That couldn't be any better. You'll see this is kind of a weird structure on the outside is where I'm going to have to insulate on this. I don't, I don't remember why I did that. I think it was because I could not get up there somehow. Uh, but this is all going to be covered anyway. So now I want to come in from the outside, run my wire down to this outlet, and then go in series all the way across. We'll just come straight down, attach it to this. So, I need to go out there now and get in that little tubby hole and feed that roll of wire through there. I'm making a hellacious mess. Alright, I'm going to walk out there, shove the wire through. Y'all let me know when you see it. Just scream and say, hey, there it is. I see the wire. What? Oh, there's the wire I see it now coming through. <laughs> Okay, now, I've got, I think i got plenty of wire. Ha <laughs> there's the outlet I was looking for. Plenty of wire pulled through. So I need to start drilling, running this through the wall. For the people who are new to my channel, you're probably wondering, why didn't you put that stuff in before you put the insulation up? Well, that's a good point. Well, when I built this, it was like, in the, we started in like the first week of May. Right off the bat, it got into the 90s. And I knew it was going to be a hot summer. I wanted to get these dogs in here, no matter what, and do it before I couldn't work out in the heat no more. So, uh, I put an air conditioner in. doesn't do any good to air condition it if it doesn't have insulation. So, with that in mind, I went ahead and put the, I knew I was going to have to redo it later. You know, that, that's a given. Everything in here was done in a hurry. So a lot of things I'm going to have to go back and do correctly. Most of this insulation is probably coming back off, but it'll, it won't go to waste. We'll still, you know, still using it. This isn't no big deal. Pull this down, drill the holes, run the wire, put it back up, and we're done with that. Then I have wall board that's going on top of this, but I can't do that until I get the electrical wired. We also have to run plumbing because I'm putting my washer and dryer in here. So, and I also have to run my 240 volt in here as well. Just remember that. And uh, that ain't gonna be no big deal. Gonna still come through there and the dryer will be over there. I hope I got enough wire for that. I don't know. 
All right, let me get these holes drilled. We'll come back. And I'm going ahead and drilling my water from my PEX lines. Tell you what, man, I don't know what this two by four is made of. Woo, I can hardly drill through it. It's the same one I couldn't hammer into. That's crazy. Where I have these water lines, I'm gonna run insulation on the back wall here as well. I'll probably put that foam board back here. I do have the uh, house wrap on here, the dupe, uh, what you call it, house wrap. This, uh, let me grab this real quick, guys. Stay there. I do have this washing machine outlet box. Washing machine's going here. Yeah, so this will probably go about right here. Yeah, because the drains goes to this side. And then my dryer's on this side. So I only have to do Another hole here and one coming in and that's pretty much pretty simple but I do got uh, a couple of spigots I want to run so I got to figure out where I want to run the pecs for that I don't have to do that right now but I might as well if I'm if I'm doing the plumbing I might as well get them all put in all right let me get these holes Got a very simple way to do this. There's my power source coming in. This is going to the service panel. Okay. And then in series, I'm going to run this through this little channel right up here. Right across the room. I got to take this out. I'm going to put the light right there. That'll be a perfect spot for the light. Come all the way across. Come straight down. And over there for an outlet for the air conditioner. Very simple. Don't get no easier than that. And, uh, you know, the water is going to be pretty simple. It's going to come in here. It's going to elbow just a little bit over that. Actually, I could probably bring it in right where I'm putting the box. And just hook it up there. But I need to tee off of that for a spigot probably right in that corner. And that's going to be very simple to do. I'll show you what I got to do that with. Uh, very easy. Because I got a temporary water hose set up there now. But I've got these shark bite half inch pex spigots. Two screws. I'll, I'll uh, make them a little more solid. And uh, just snap in the pex and you're ready to go. And I got two of those. I think I'm only going to hook up one for now. But, yes, I'm going to have to hook up two because I'm going to need one for the garden. So one will have to be on this side of the building over here. All right. I'm going to get this thing wired up. I don't know if I'm going to get to the PEX today. I think what I need to do is that PEX has been sitting outside here. And uh, it's cold. And it don't run good cold. So I'm going to bring that in overnight and let it warm up by the heater. 
That way, I come in here tomorrow, I can run it and bend it all I need. Actually, there's really not any bends. So tomorrow, um, we'll be getting that run, and I'm going to be thinking about building my little platform for the uh, washer and dryer. May have all this done in a couple of days. Pretty electrical is nothing. And actually, the plumbing's not going to be nothing. It's just I got to reroute some things in that old laundry room because there's stuff that cannot be hidden if I were to do it now. You'll you'll see that. All right. going on a three-hour tour a three-hour tour how'd they get all that money mr howe he had suitcases of it man and ginger had all them clothes i mean come on hollywood you do you don't bring all that on a three-hour tour what in the goodness you just don't at least gilligan and skipper they only had the one hat and shirt and pants I can believe that, you know, at the house. All right. How long is this cord? Well, let's see. Get on up there. Iffy dollar store table. <laughs> oh, I got plenty. I think I'm going to put the outlet over here. It's just easier. Alright. Uh, I'm good. Let's run it. Oh, now what's going on? real easy to put back up. You know I mean, I think I got plenty to go to the place I wanted to go. Alright. I got some ties to tack that down. Yeah, I can run that.
straight across and down. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. Alright. Do 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 do. seen little house on the prairie shows like that you know they got an outhouse Gilligan's Island where's the outhouse they never had an outhouse you know if you expect me to believe your show build an outhouse Goodness, man I tell you what Better quit squawking at me. Give her a tack 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 tack. Put plenty down there. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, and then up here, hard to small space to work in, guys. Up here, I'm gonna tack this up. I uh, will be putting a light up here, so I'll be uh, tapping into that later. I may not do that. Well, I'm going to do it all at once, but I ain't going to do it today. Oh, there's very little time. You know? <laughs> uh, time I got the video, video edited for the other channel, it was about 11. <coughs> oh, I come out here, you know. Now it's time to feed the dogs. And before you know it, it'll be... Light, but I'm going to get this electrical. I'm going to get these tapped up where they need to be and probably get that light fixture on there. I'm going to wait and get a metal one. I don't like these plastic ones. And uh, that's better. I'll have the light switch. And then all I'll have to do is take that 14 2 and run it up probably through there and come down. It'll, it'll be a little longer than it needs to be, but then I'll have my switch there. That way, when I come in and open the door, the switch is right there to open. And I could even put it on the other side of the door. I may do that. And that, that way I can clip the light before I even come in. All right, let me get a little more buttoned up. I'm just glad I had enough of this wire because I'm going to tell you, this stuff is not cheap no more. Like 75 bucks for... I've been a little more for uh, 50 feet of it. Oh, I do not like getting on this table. All right, let's just, I got some nails sticking up.
code say you're supposed to do one of these every foot? We ain't got no code, but I'm gonna do one every foot. Oh! Then I gotta get the shop back to get all this junk picked up. And I could have got away with using 12-2 uh, in here. It would have been fine. But I don't know what I'm going to run in the future. I'm going to a 30 amp breaker. So this is what you run. You want to run 12-2 on 30 amp. I am going to run, I am running an electric heater in here. I'm also running the AC. They pull quite a bit of power. You can run them on 20 amp. That's what they're running on now. Why can I hit that? I mean, this is destructive. Wow. This is the hardest 2x4 I've ever seen. Alright, then we're going to come over this away. I ain't going to do anything else to that. Now I just need to tack them in all the way to the other outlet. And we're going to call it good for the day on electric. I'm going to button back some of this uh, insulation back up because the dog's got to sleep in here tonight. Uh, I wanted to mention in there I hung a thermometer, the one that was on the chicken coop. It was 23 degrees outside and in there it was 40. So that's quite a big difference putting that foam up. I couldn't believe it stayed that warm and I mean all night it stayed that temperature and they were like 56 degrees in here. It's it, Once it's the walls are on, everything's insulated. When I get the rest of the, every bit of the insulation on, it's going to be very warm in here. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. It's getting a little long. We'll get another one up tomorrow. I'm going to be a busy man all week. If y'all haven't subscribed, if you'd like to, get down there and do it. Otherwise, give me a like, give me another like. I don't care. Happy trails.